SEO, search engine optimization. It's about getting your website discovered without paying for that traffic by appearing in the free listings in places like Google search results. But how do you rise up through the organic search rankings? Let's have a look. For this video, we'll focus on Google. It's the largest search engine and most likely the source of the majority of your organic traffic. The first thing to know is that there are three pillars to SEO or search engine optimization. Content, technical SEO, and offsite SEO. Let's start with content. It's a key element and the first pillar. The trick is to make sure the content is helpful to your intended audience and answers the questions they may be asking. That's what Google is looking for. It's important that your content uses the language that people are typing into search engines like Google. If you'd like to learn more about how to produce the best content for your business in more detail, make sure you check the links below. The second pillar is technical SEO. It's simply a fancy name for a suite of tactics you can take to set up your content so that it's treated as important by Google. Remember, Google is looking to match search queries with the most relevant content. So it's important to structure your website in a way that signals to Google what you want it to recognize, that your product or content is relevant to those searches. We'll look into more detail on this in a later video, but in a nutshell, it's about ensuring your content is easy to read and more relevant to Google and your audience. The important thing to keep in mind here is to focus on what's going to make the most impact in getting helpful content to your audience in the manner in which they're seeking answers. The last pillar is offsite SEO, a key part to how Google decides where they place your site against others. This is done through signals coming from outside your site. These suggest your site is trustworthy and better for your intended audience. The main signal they look at is other trusted sites linking to your site. Essentially, this is seen as an endorsement for your site by other respected sites. Other examples include having good local search listings, such as Google My Business and Maps listings with good reviews and comments, and social links. But these don't carry as much weight as links from other trusted sites. These links and signals take time and effort to build. The starting point is to look at your existing partnerships with other businesses and ensure these are strong and ask them to link to your site from their site and vice versa. It's the digital element of a traditional business relationship. We've covered a lot and SEO is always daunting to begin with, but keep in mind the key points outlined in this video when getting into this area. Remember, the most important goal is to be helpful to your audience with your content. This is the foundation on which good SEO strategies are built. Thank you.